So guys, we got quite a bit of, well, snow for us, early. I thought we'd do a cold start on our Toyota Corolla in my back garage. Oh yeah. She's cold out. I don't have the keys for the avalanche, so that'll be plenty of cold starts for that thing. Let's not worry about that one right now. She's a bit icy out of here. But I have to go way back there, so it's like 20 degrees Fahrenheit. I just checked. The car will say different. It has got 11,749 miles. So why not do the last cold start on her before she goes? Bye bye. That doesn't sound good. But look at that, she fired right up. It says 37. Take traction control off because she's uh, pretty icy out here. Even got backup camera, backup assist, see? Well, there you go. It's the last time. I hate snow. Got stuck on my avalanche. So, no, I did not. I was having fun. Alright. My grass is all tore up now. Oh well. Stuff happens, right? Okay. Let's see if we get stuck here. Let's try it. Shouldn't. Yeah, massive burnout, there we go. That was kind of fun. All right guys, do a video once I get back. Oh yeah, I totally forgot guys. Uh, probably shouldn't have been uh, racing the engine when I it was cold and sitting in a cold garage to get 30 degrees so far and dropping. Uh, maybe that wasn't too smart. Uh, with a cold engine. I, I totally forgot this was underneath my house where it was warm so it wouldn't be such a big deal. So yeah, I kind of feel bad now. I had her quite up to the danger zone but uh, yeah, she runs mint. Alright, this is the car I got. It's a Mercedes-Benz all-wheel drive. 240C formatic. And uh, to check the oil, I couldn't figure that out, but whatever. It's no dipstick. <laughs> I gotta put gas in it. It's all wheel drive. It's a V6 engine. It's got some little scratches and stuff. Um, that's going bye bye tomorrow. And this is staying here. Um, so, yeah, I wanted something cheap for to get around to the farm. Got leather heated seats, auto headlights, sunroof that works, six CD changer in there. It works, everything works, radio works, heated seats work. It's got shifters. I'll fire it up for you here. Just check the oil, it needs to be changed and it shows that it's a quart low, but it, the valve covers are leaking too, so. Yeah, there's the miles, I'm not kidding. <laughs> 230,308 miles. So, yeah, it's got heated seats. There's your power seats. It's it's low, it's a luxury vehicle. So, yeah. Show you how it runs. It don't smoke. It's got a little bit of rust though, right there. Common with a 2005. Thanks. Looks good and runs good and not much rest on it. It's in good shape. Just a little bit around the wheel well. But uh, this thing rides down 
Rides down the road at 70, like no problem, nobody's business. But see, I gotta get gas in there. There is a bent problem with it, he said. But I got this pretty cheap, so yeah, I'll do more videos of it soon. I gotta get a battery in there, it's just a little weak, but you know, it's as is. And no check engine light, everything runs good. Auto headlights, cruise works, turn signals on the mirrors, heated mirrors, power windows, power trunk. Uh, you even got your own cell phone back in the day, I guess, he said. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, heated seats work. Yeah, I'd trust this car anywhere. It sure works good, it's got Bluetooth, look at that. I didn't hook my phone up to it, sweet. So I thought I'd show you guys that. Uh, yeah, unfortunately that car is going bye-bye and that one's staying here, so yeah, it's too expensive. Well, I got the car in here, 240, or C, 244-matic. And uh, I'll tell you, she runs pretty good. Uh, I put gas in it, took, you know, about 12 gallons. Um, I guess to check the oil, like I said, you check it on the dash, which was, or I don't know if I said it before, but. Very beautiful inside. Let's see here. But uh, 230,000 miles, there's a sunroof. It's in pretty good shape for the money, I guess. There's Mercedes engine. Yeah, it's the valve covers are leaking oil, so. But I, I would expect they would some miles like that. They don't look too bad in there. I see the valve covers are leaking. You can see them there. <clears throat> Here's your oil filter. 7.4 quarts would filter. Mercedes Benz V6. I think it's a 2 point some liter. All wheel drive, mobile one. Um, power steering, you know, don't have electric. I like that better. Here's the battery over there. I think the battery's a bit weak. I might have to have that checked. And if it is, I'll just put one in myself. I see the battery's right there. Uh, I didn't, I don't know what it is. It's 2005, but I don't know for sure. Auto, auto headlights work, everything works. Oh, well, drive works. Turn signal on the mirrors, everything works. It's it's not the prettiest in the world, but it'll be a nice farm car. Because, uh, you know, I looked at this, I, I pulled this out, and I, where the hell is the dipstick? I thought, oh, sh It's one of them cars with no dipstick. <laughs> By golly, it is. But, yeah, everything looks good. No, I bet the AC don't work. Um, I'm pretty sure. It looks like clutch is missing. Or maybe it isn't. I don't know. But anyway, if it don't work, that's fine. But, belt looks good. The oil was good. I checked the oil on the computer. It says it was good, but I'm gonna change it anyway. Probably hasn't been changed. Yeah, doesn't burn oil. Sure does. Looks good and uh, be a nice car. Uh, that Toyota Corolla, like I said, that's just I I can't be making big payments on that one. You know, I could do other stuff to my Ford diesel. That thing must go. I mean, it's it's just just too much. The warranty's gonna expire in three years. I got my avalanche still too if I need it. 